when you go around the world, there is, uh, you know, you taste different, different kinds of food. And I'm so proud that when people come to, to Britain, that they have fish and chips and we can be a part of that. Fish and chips, it is my life. I live and I breathe it and I love it. And that's a great feeling to be able to do that, to be able to do something every day and love it. feeling of when the customer walks out the door and they say that was the best fish and chips I've ever had, that is the money for us. So that's what inspires me every day, is being able to provide a quality product for our customers. The level we're at now has been a life-changing experience and you have to be prepared for that. If you're not prepared to change your life and commit to that and run it at the top all the time, then it's a difficult thing to do. It's just part of the job, that's what you take on, that's the business you're providing and to get to that level and to produce a good product and good customer service, it takes a lot of dedication from not just the family, but from the team you employ. So it's, it's, it's a lot of work, it's hard work, but it's enjoyable, it's, it's very rewarding. We started off uh, with my great-grandfather in 1940, uh, during World War II, when fish and chips were, wasn't rationed. And um, he was literally rumbling potatoes into an old bathtub. Uh, or whatever he could get his hands on. And um, w every generation that's come through from Miller's, it's brought something new to the table. And what's been amazing with working with Dad and so closely with him is that he's been able to stand back and let that happen. People think that a chip just comes to us like a chip. It comes to us as a potato off a farm. That whole process of it going from the potato to the end products that you're actually eating is quite amazing really and a lot of time and care goes into that process. Mushy peas is something that everybody probably has with the fish and chips. We're making them on the hob, fresh, every day. So at every service, the customers are getting a fresh lot of peas. It's what fish and chips are known for. Fish, chips and peas, please. The fish we get, so it's individually line caught. That means that it's been baited specifically for that type of species. So that's really important when it comes to sustainability because we know exactly what the fishermen are catching. My family have been doing this for 77 years and if we want this to continue, we have to start looking after the ocean and, and not only that, but things around us as well. Dad takes a lot of pride in the fish that he gets and, and everything that, that we do at Miller's. But where he really does shine is his fish cutting. So obviously he's got 30 years of experience of doing that. And that's something that we you know, take great pride in is that we've got a premium fish cutter. These fishermen take great care by getting that fish for us and they produce a great product. So it's our duty to take that fish and produce a good product with it. I've gone through many different processes. I've had wet fish, I've had frozen at sea. At the moment, I believe is that frozen at sea is probably some of the best fish you can buy. We buy from the Norwegians, we buy from the Icelandics. They fish in the top of the Barents Sea, oceans off Greenland, and it really is superb stuff. It's caught and usually frozen to minus 24 within two and a half hours. 
it's classed as fresh frozen. I really don't think there's much that can beat that. The most important thing is your batter. People always talk about batter, the batter was too soft or it was, it was wet or whatever. And I think getting your batter is just so important to what you do. And I think it's something that you never stop learning about. We're always tweaking it, we're always trying to get it better. Can we make it better? When you have the batter right, you must be able to place your fish in the batter very quickly and then into the pan, but also you just need to lay it in. If your batter is correct, you shouldn't have to throw it in but to get loads of spikes on it. You should be able to just place it in very gently, deliberately slow motion, and let it go and let the, the fat, the temperature, and the, the batter do its work. And then after four or five minutes, you get a perfect product coming up. Mum runs her restaurant like you would do if she came into your home. She's a bit like us. If she's not proud of what goes on that plate, she asks us to do it again. It doesn't happen very often, but she's very, very particular. So she runs that fantastically, and we trust her implicitly with that. Mum loves her customers. They're like her extended family. They always come in at a certain time. She knows exactly what they want, when they want it. That's what's great about Miller's is because we take every customer very, very seriously. Without the customers, we wouldn't be where we are now. It is almost like still being in a big band when you're on shift. Every player in a band needs to be doing the right thing. It's about the feeling as well, you know, and it comes from a passion. If you're not into it, you're not into it, you know, so you have to be on the game. Keeping that energy up is something that we strive on and that's 100% that's what we do. I think fish and chips is an honest meal. It's a really good honest meal. It's a value for money meal. Uh, and it's, it's nutritious, but I think it's one of your top comfort foods. I think people love fish and chips. And you can eat fish and chips in all different manners. You can eat it out of paper on a wall outside with your dogs, or you can eat it by the seaside. You can take it home and have a family supper. It ticks so many boxes for people. I think if it's done right, it's probably one of the best meals going. We look forward to a Friday. It's very hard, it's very intense. It's very important to make sure that it's running smoothly, even at the highest pace. We'll get burnt, we'll shout at each other, but it's all for the customer, it's all to get that product as best as it can be. You know, we all want this end goal, which is the perfect fish and chips, and that's what we're all striving towards. As long as we get that job done, we'll do anything. I think our team is fantastic. We have a young, vibrant team, which is great that we believe in, but the big thing is they believe in Millers as well. So we have to have that. You have to believe in what you're doing. We believe it because it's our business, but they have to believe that as well, and they do believe that they love it. They are proud to wear the Millers tops. They go all off together doing things. And even to my eldest people that work for me, they sign up to what we're doing, and it's just fantastic. So that's how important it is. You can't be where we are without that team. We all love what we do, and that shows through, through what we do. And, you know, we will go out for meals, we will go bowling, we'll, we'll, we'll do various things all together because we not only work together, but, you know, we, we're all friends as well, you know, and that's what's great about it. Nick. The future for Millers, we just want to keep doing what we're doing. You know, we are providing quality for our community and I can only see that getting bigger and better. You know, we're constantly looking at how we can improve every aspect of the business and I think progression is so important for any business. 
and that's it's what we do and that's what we love doing and that's what we will continue to do. Thank you.